A lot of men are really missing the point when it comes to retention. You know, a lot of guys comment on the videos and other things that I see, you know, it doesn't work and I didn't notice anything and you're, you know, depriving yourself of sex and it's not necessary. But I really think that there's uh, a more profound meaning to this whole retention thing than just something as simple as, you know, seeing some benefits or noticing like small changes in your life. I mean, that stuff is great. And I get it because, you know, we're men, we want to solve problems, we want to use our logic to make things work, we want to move forward in a way, uh, we want to find ways where we can move forward so life is easier for us. And I get that, and I understand why some people are skeptical of retention, and I understand why they might try it and they'll be like, this is stupid, this doesn't really do anything for me, like why are we, you know, why do we do this to ourselves? I just think that there's like such a, a deeper... Um, purpose there's like a more profound purpose of why we should practice this and i think if you're more inclined to be on the spiritual path you'll kind of understand what i'm saying but maybe if not maybe if you're kind of just um you know just trying to find like if you're kind of on your self-growth sort of personal development journey you're just looking for ways to kind of enhance your life to be a better human and that's good too the thing with retention though is it's not so much about the surface level obvious stuff. It's not necessarily about trying to change or become something different. It's more about letting certain things go. You know, if you look at like uh, somebody who adopts a minimalist sort of lifestyle, which is something I've been doing. I've been getting a lot of, rid of a lot of stuff in here that I don't need. I've been trying to cut back on my spending and my buying, not just to save money, but to just focus on the things in life that bring me value and that are important to me. And I feel like retention is sort of in that same realm of minimalism. It's more sort of like a, a lifestyle minimalism. You're cutting out the things that don't really bring you any value, the things that you're wasting time and energy on. And this is something that I sort of noticed when I was minimizing and getting rid of a lot of stuff. I'm like, well, all right, I got rid of the material stuff, but now how can I minimize sort of things in my life? What am I spending a lot of time and energy on that I don't need to? What am I spending my, you know, spending time thinking about that I don't really need to? And you come to realize that sex is one of those things, you know? Men spend a lot of time on sex. We, I, I, I mean, like, I definitely always kind of have, I've always been sort of, uh, I've always had sort of, I guess, high testosterone. I mean, I don't even think that has anything to do with it. I think, you know, young guys is just where the society we live in is just our urges and everything. Uh, not that I spend so much time trying to like get it per se, but just, you know, thinking about it and then you fall into porn and stuff like that. It's like, it's just, it becomes such a, a major part of our being. And this is for me why retention is so powerful and important because it's like you're letting all of that go, all of that wasted time, all of that wasted energy. It's not about just benefits like energy and, and female attraction and stuff like that. You're, you're getting rid of the things that do not bring any value into your life. Now, I'm not saying there's no value in sex at all, but I've said in the past that I think that it's very valuable to have sex with people that you know you you care about, people that you have some sort of emotional uh, connection to. I mean, think about all the times that you fantasize, all the times that you spend watching adult content. I mean, I I literally don't even like if something comes up on a screen, even like in a just a regular movie, I turn that shit off. Like I just don't even want to um, put any energy towards that. You know, that's just me, and it took me a while to get to that place. It's also, I think retention is also about learning to control yourself as a man, like learning to control your impu uh, impulses, learning to not just give in to any, you know, desire that pops up. Most people don't understand that. This is why nor normal people, like the average person, won't understand things like retention. And this is why uh, most guys, a lot of guys probably think it's silly. You know, one of the first spiritual books I ever read that introduced me to mindfulness and introduced me to a whole new way of uh, sort of perceiving the world and the way that I think is called The Art of Power by Thich Nhat Hanh. He was a monk. He just died uh, kind of recently, a few in the past few years. And basically, I remember, I, can't, I haven't read that book in a while, but he says, he says something to the effect of how we have no control over ourselves. We have no power over ourselves. We, can't, we haven't learned how to master our own power. 
And he used, actually used an example in the book. I'll see if I can find it exactly for you guys. I'll put it in the description or the, the comments or something about how men will literally throw their entire life away for one sexual experience. Think about it. Like a married guy who is like a CEO of a company and maybe he sleeps with the secretary or something like that. And he just throws his marriage away. He throws his career away for one stupid sexual impulse. You know, that to me is where retention is so vital. You're learning how to control things like that. You're learning how to control those impulses. You're learning not how to just think with your dick. You're learning how to think with your, your intellect and your intuition. That is the meaning of semen retention to me, okay? But it might be different for you. You have to find what the meaning is for you. So stop getting so bent out, uh, so caught up on benefits and like you're not seeing anything. It's like anything else. I know it's cliche, but it's about the actual journey. It's about the whole entire process. I'm very grateful for this journey. I'm very grateful I discovered retention because the whole thing has turned me over a long period of time has turned me into such a, a better man. I, I really, I firmly am just, I firmly believe that. I'm not just saying it, okay? I, I don't say things just to get, you know, just so you guys will watch and click and, and that kind of stuff. I say things because I genuinely mean them. So that's basically it. Uh, quick video. Just, we want to get back to the basics, guys. Just pay attention to the things that you need in life, okay? The essentials. Minimize your life. Get rid of anything that's bringing you down, that's dragging you down, whether it's people, whether it's adult content, whether it's, uh, you know, even like hobbies that you should probably spend like too, too much video games and stuff like that. Uh, the idea is to get back and just focus on the things that are truly bringing value to our life, the things that are uplifting us as humans and helping us to give back to society in some way. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you.